This is my first in my series I'm creating. This is to show people how to do an Internet of Things using Microsoft and Windows technology. But to start off, I am unboxing a Raspberry Pi kit, which will be the first device that I will start using. I will, not this episode, unbox the uh, Raspberry Pi, show the components, then work towards um, installing the Noob's uh, Raspberry Pi, walk through the steps of doing that, and that will be the feature for this today's uh, video. We will then proceed down in the future of installing Windows 10 and then uh, doing universal apps and then doing short features displaying different sensors connecting them up and showing them how they work and then maybe we'll progress into doing either a small robotics vehicle or some other IoT device and build those over the years. The idea of this course is to keep it simple. At the same time, make it relevant as to give practical use and allow people to start and ideally even to encourage uh, children in school and to high school uh, how to work with technology and come up with some devices. I also have a 3D printer which I may bring some ideas from that in the future but for now we'll just start off with the Raspberry Pi. So this came in the mail that's a nice little kit, the Raspberry Pi. Uh, black case, it's a start starter kit. I did not get it with the uh, Noobs uh, software installed, so I had to download that. I'll provide some information where you can pull that so from. So I, I pulled down the Noobs uh, software, or the Opera OS, not the software. Well, it is both. Um, that was then copied, unzipped, and then copied onto this SD card for the first time use. In the box, HDMI cable. Uh, very useful, but I already have one, so I will not be using this one. As you can see, I already have a HDMI cable. Just a small 7-inch um, monitor here. I also have hooked that so I can record the screens using this HDI video capture um, device. Very, very impressed with it so far. It allows me to record what was, is actually being displayed. Some nice instructions on how to use the Raspberry Pi. Just enough to start. Uh, resistor cable kit. There were a few resistors in the pack. Um, also, you can get other kits from the Canna Kit Company. So, um, support.cannakit.com. Very nice little reference for decoding your resistors if you aim to use that in the future. Uh, the pinouts of the Raspberry Pi. Some general instructions on electronics. The pinouts. and the cable to connect to the uh, Raspberry Pi if you want to connect this to a breadboard and do projects. We'll be displaying that in a future date. I'm going to put that right back in there and we'll deal with that in a future date. Uh, breadboard. This allows you to pr plug in PC components and we'll explain this once again at another date. Ah, a nice little mini Wi-Fi adapter. 
allows us to connect to the internet wirelessly. I'll put that over there. Um, what else do we have? We got a black Raspberry Pi enclosure case. So this could turn it into almost like a mini PC. And uh, put your Pi in here. It's got a lot of ventilation slots, all the nice uh, openings designed for the Raspberry Pi. And a nice Raspberry Pi little ventilation there too. But I'm not going to use that for now. So I'm just going to put that aside too. Nice power adapter. Uh, 5 volts, micro USB. Um, 2 amps, nice power supply. It's also um, got a ferrite magnetic ferrite, so it should try and stop any um, RF interference. I have another one ready set up at the back over there, so I will not be using this one currently. I'll use that one back there. And finally, you've got a heat sink here that you can apply to the um, to the Raspberry Pi processor. And this must be the Raspberry Pi quick start guide or the documentation in multiple different languages. Safety guide. In multiple different languages. Ah, I did get a version of the uh, OS up, so I didn't. So we'll just use the one that's provided. This is an 8 gig. Uh, micro SD card and it should have the noobs uh, version of the OS which will automatically install and it's a good starting point for anybody and the Raspberry Pi nice little device uh, easy uh, to work with as you can see it is very compact um, very expandable. Here's the output input output ports that you can use. Display port, camera port, um, audio port, your power in, HDMI out, uh, RJ network in, RJ45, and four USB uh, connection ports. So that's quite a impressive little piece of hardware that you can get around 40 US dollars or less. Um, so, that's what we will start off with today. We aren't going to get anything fancy. What we're going to use is power. We're going to have HDMI, which I can connect up. Let's turn the TV on. Or monitor. HDMI in, we will insert the micro SD card and we will add power. All right, so now the Raspberry Pi came up and it wants to know what we want to do with it. Unfortunately, I do not have an input device connected to this right now. So let me do that and we will re resume.
So I'm now going to plug a mouse into a USB. A keyboard. This type of fittings are a little tight. This is a very nice little wireless keyboard I found on the internet. It isn't very much. It has a very simple uh, keyboard, but still enough that I can use remotely and so forth through other devices later on, other experiments. As you can see, the mouse is now working, and the keyboard should be working too. Alright, so let's select that. And install. This will take some time. It is now doing the first time initialization of the Pi software, or OS. Please excuse my dog barking out there. Okay, the OS was successfully installed. We will fast forward through all of that and do it uh, through Miracle speeding up of double speed, quadruple speed. Let's see what happens now.
see, as you can see now, that you get through to a number of options. I'm going to just go past those. And to bring up the UI, I believe you just type in the command start X. Hmm. We got an interesting error I've been seen before. But we have a version of kind of Windows And that's good enough to start today, but I think that as you could see, we unpackaged the Pi, we provided power, we connected it to the HDMI to get output out. We then ran into a problem where we didn't have any input uh, items, so we added a wireless mouse, or a wired mouse, and a wireless keyboard. Um, then we installed the new SD, uh, SD, uh, micro SD and on startup it um, automatically installed the, the OS which took some time which got to where the, the OS is now operational and next episode I don't plan on going too much in depth into the Raspberry as I want to focus on Windows and technology and using um, Visual Studio. So my next episode we'll look at downloading and installing Windows uh, 10 uh, core onto this machine and getting that working. Thank you all for watching.